right so that's how the whole process can can work out like this okay now let's talk about uh, how the proteins are translocated uh, from cytosol into another organelle like paroxysm because the processes are though the idea is kind of same but processes are slightly different guys because the translocation into the par paroxysm if you look at here the targeting of protein is initiated actually the post translationally actually because once the protein is completely translated because it's all true for the translocation of proteins into mitochondria the translocation of protein into chloroplast and this is the same thing is for paroxysms also so once the proteins are made but the simple difference is there because the paroxysome is also require a sequence uh, which is uh, telling the protein to be inserted into the paroxysm not the any other kind of uh, organelle and that sequence is called the paroxysm signal sequence or paroxysm or protein signal sequence PTSIR so so PTSIR uh, PTS actually the paroxysm uh, transmission sequence actually and uh, it is also required another protein called PTSIR which is a receptor or protein receptor of that signal sequence which will bind with that PTS sequence and then it will help that protein to be inserted into the paroxysm but actually the uniqueness for the paroxysm is that the paroxysm usually contain uh, this signal sequence in its C terminal end not uh, in uh, not in the end terminal end because we have seen in case of in case of mitochondria or chloroplast this whole sequences are present in the end terminal end but in case of uh, paroxysm they present in the C terminal as you can see here okay this is the signal protein right and once this process uh, once once it is sequenced with the signal sequence at the C terminal end uh, heme or iron groups are required because iron group will arrange uh, four iron group uh, are there should this four iron group should be arranged with uh, the unfolded uh, unfolded uh, sequence of nascent polypeptide and they will form a kind of catalyst tetramer once the catalyst tetramer is formed there once the catalyst tetramer is formed then you can see that using that PTSIR protein that PTSIR protein will be attached with any one of uh, these signal sequences actually in this case right so once it is bound with this then PTSIR protein will guide this whole iron and protein complex or heme protein complex inside the paroxysm through the channel created by a protein called PUX or PEX, PEX14 actually. So this PEX14 is a receptor, it's a protein receptor that is very very important for binding with PTSIR element and PTSIR once it's bound with it then it will deliver this whole complex of iron and protein, iron protein cluster inside the cell, right? So once it is inside the cell then again uh, once after inserting in, into the lumen of paroxysm that PTSIR protein dissociates from the rest of the sequence and this PTSIR is now free as you can see here it is now free uh, again for the next round of its work right so that's how the whole process works in case of the translocation into the paroxysms